Good morning, HHS. Today is October 10th. Coming up on today's show, College Night Plus, cheer team highlights, and a trip to the sports desk. Woo! Good morning, HHS. My name is Eli Derrick. And I'm Stefan Bonds, and this is your morning news. Senior picture, make, senior picture makeups and retakes will be today, Thursday and Friday, October 10th and 11th, in the multi-purpose room. If you have not taken your senior portrait, you, you already have an appointment time. Check in with your advisory teacher for your scheduled appointment time. Please see Ms. Hasek if you have not been giving appointment time yet. Drapes and tuxes will be provided. The annual JMU Athletics Career Day is set for Thursday, October 31st, 2019. Students will have the opportunity to, to learn about careers in sports, specifically college athletics. This year's event will begin in the club room of Bridge Forest Stadium. Then students will break out to go on a behind-the-scenes tour of the Bridge Forest Stadium and learn about different varies in sports. Students will also have the opportunity to eat lunch on campus. Please sign up with Ms. Bacon in the counseling office to obtain the required permission forms and secure the spot today. Space is limited. Are you super, super extroverted? Do you want to work on public speaking? You might want to check out the forensics team. Talk to Ms. Delosia in room 448 or Ms. Walton in room 410 to learn more. They accept everyone. College Night Plus was held at JMU on September 24th. It was a chance for students to visit with college representatives and catch a glimpse into their future. Chris Munoz explored these exciting academic options. For those of you who don't know what to do with your life, College Night Plus was the place to find out. Ranging from colleges all across Virginia, we spoke to some college reps to see what they had to offer. We offer Associate of Arts and Sciences. Uh, we offer over 40 different programs, such as nursing, college transfer programs, so lots of different opportunities. Um, everything from business to English, psychology, biology, history, computer science. Uh, we're, we started as an education school years ago. We're still very true to those roots, too. What? So we don't have one popular major. We have a ton. Um, Volgenal School of Engineering is very popular. Anything engineering-wise, computer science, cybersecurity. College of Visual Performing Arts, so this is music, dance, theater, film, graphic design, computer game design, forensic science, criminology, law society, the school of business, communications, you name it. So we have over 100 majors, minors, and concentrations. Um, some of our most popular include nursing, education, our school of business, and our school of communication, as well as psychology and criminal justice. Um, some of our more unique majors and minors are crime analysis, music therapy, um, and deaf and part of hearing education. Over 70 different academic programs and a connected learning. So students are going to be engaged in and out of the classroom through the academic lens of things. Our most popular majors are business admin, biology, our education program, our liberal studies, which is our elementary education certification program, and then our psychology program. Thanks, Chris. If you miss college tonight, you may always check in with your school counselor about more college options. School pictures for all underclassmen are on October 4th. 14th. Remember to be looking fresh to the death on Monday. We have all heard the cheer team on the sidelines cheering on our blue streaks, but Lizzie wondered what it was really like to fly through the air as part of the cheer team. She talks to a few cheerleaders about their career family. The definition of a cheerleader is constant bruises and extrovert and somebody that's just open. Yeah, a pretty outgoing, probably loud person, pretty friendly for the most part, I'd say. Blue, thin, yellow, white, blue, white, pink. It's going to sound weird, but like working as a team and like working together to reach the goal, not just by yourself, but like as a whole. And everybody is friends, like there's no drama on the team, nobody hates each other, everybody can yeah. work together as a team. Um, when I'm up in the air, it's scary sometimes. But like, if you trust the people under you, like, it'll like, help you be a better type flyer. And like, to know that someone's under you and they're gonna catch you. Um, but I like it. What is it, your team mean to you? Um, the team is like a lot to me. Like, it's about like, 
making bonds with people that you never thought you would like be close with or like I don't know it's just you get closer over time five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, six, seven, eight. when I'm at cheer like I forget everything that's like bad like I just I'm focused on cheer I feel like that's like I don't know like I feel like I have something there to like not remember me just like being positive and like knowing like if something doesn't go right like just fix it and like it'll like do better but also I like getting like, <laughs> being tight <laughs> um it's kind of just like a bunch of sisters it's like a big family it's like the people we spend 17 hours a week with yes like, we're just like bonded so close together. We literally see each other for three hours at three day after school and this yeah. is a family. Yeah. Is the bell gonna ring in the back? Homecoming is coming up on the 19th and next week is Spirit Week. Lizzie, Katrin, and Jaya can tell you what each day is. After a full week of homecoming festivities, make sure you buy your tickets to the homecoming dance. Tickets will be at sold at lunches this week. Remember to buy your tickets to the dance at all lunches. The homecoming dance is, set, is next Saturday, October 19th. Fall sports teams are deep into their season, and Jesse Lichty and Jesus Cortez are here to tell you your mid-season sports report. The varsity football team lost the first two games of the year, but are now at a record of 2-3 and three entering their easier Valley District schedule. The volleyball teams also started their district play this week with two games against rivals. The volleyball team played Spotswood at home on Tuesday and lost in five sets in a very close game. And they played today at TA. Football plays at Waynesboro tomorrow and JV has a bye week. Competition cheerleading has a meet at Buffalo Gap High School today. Unified Basketball had a game at TA yesterday and they play at EMU's gym on Tuesday next week. Powder Puff Football plays Monday, October 14th and the boys volleyball tournament is on Wednesday, October 16th. And finally, winter sports trials will be on November 11th. And if you want to be able to try out, you need to have a physical on file with the trainers before then. This week is farm to school, to school week, and we welcome lo lots of local produce and products from Shenandoah Valley. For, uh, at lunch today, and we have roasted chicken and homemade rolls, and ha ham on pineapple, and or cheese pizza. I'm Jesus, stay classy HHS.